What is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the best fragrances for beginners. Now this is not just going to be me listing off fragrances, it's going to be me keeping it under $100. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to give you three different variations of fragrances, one that I personally would pick, one that I would suggest for most people, and then I'd give one that's a little bit more masculine. So I'm going to jump into the one that I would give to most people, and it's going to consist of these fragrances. Now this first one is going to be me giving you multiple fragrances at low prices so that you can have a variety of fragrances and really be able to find out which ones you like. Now I tried to keep these under $100, but all of them went a little bit over, bear with me. So the first fragrance I'm going to give you in this one is Afnan's 9 p.m. for 20 to $30. You're getting a apple vanilla fragrance, a little candy sweetness to it, but primarily going to be your casual day wear fragrance. This one is amazing in my opinion for the price that you get. And I even did a giveaway on it because I felt like it was that good. So you get some sweetness, vanilla, apple, great starting fragrance for 20 to 30 dollars then you have coach green which you're probably spend a little bit more on uh 45 dollars uh, for a 3.4 ounce bottle but this was probably one of my favorite designer released fragrances last year it's green apple with some woodsy notes in there and it just really works as a a fragrance for almost any guy of any age in my opinion so it's a, a great one to pick up as a beginner you're not going to break the bank with it so really this is a perfect fragrance in my opinion for starting people I, this is one i've suggested to a lot of people and then the next one you're going to spend about 36 dollars or 35 dollars whatever on jimmy choo man intense now i've seen the reactions from women in person on this one. This is one that a lot of people love. It's got some fruity notes in there with some pepperiness and a little bit of floral notes in there. It's gonna be different from all of them. All these fragrances are completely different. None of these fragrances are blue fragrances and most of these fragrances are not going to be ones that people suggest to you. So Coach Green and Jimmy Choo, Man Intense, I've almost never seen anybody suggest to people, but of course, off and on 9 p.m. is very popular. But those are the three fragrances and that's gonna get you around, I think, 100 to $115 is gonna be the price range that you're staying in with that one. So a little bit over $100, but that is gonna be your beginner if you wanna have the versatility set. Now the next one I'm gonna give you is gonna be the more masculine kind of set. And this one's going to be, if you don't really care for something that is uh, a sweeter fragrance and you wanna spend a little bit more money for stuff that's a little bit better quality, this is the, the set that I would recommend to you. And it's going to be Spice Balm, and Dylan Blue, Versace Dylan Blue. Now, the reason I picked these two fragrances is because they kind of cover everything without going overly sweet. So Spice Bomb is a slightly sweet spice men's fragrance, which is definitely leaning more masculine than a lot of the other Spice Bomb fragrances. It's um, peppery with some cinnamon notes in there, no vanilla, which is what keeps it this keeps the sweetness down. So if you want a pure masculine spice fragrance, but not one that's like Dior Sauvage or Dior Fahrenheit, then Spice Bomb Original is the one that I'm gonna suggest to you. And of course, Dylan Blue is a blue fragrance, so the versatility that you get from the marine and incense notes in there, it's definitely a great pick. Now, it's not my favorite pick, and honestly, I'm not the proudest of it, but to keep the prices uh, under $100 and to pick something that is more masculine, I think it's definitely a great pick. I mean, it's inexpensive and it'll get the job done for sure. So Spice Balm and Versace Dylan Blue, that is a great pick for beginners in my opinion and there's not gonna be really any hate for those fragrances. And then you have what my personal pick would be and that's going to be these two fragrances that I've mentioned before, Versace Eros Flame and Ralph's Club EDP. Now Ralph's Club EDP is my favorite men's casual fragrance from designer houses. The floral lavender sweetness, but very subtle kind of feel that you get to it. Honestly, I'm completely rocking with that and I would throw away all other blue fragrances and stuff for that one. I know that's a completely controversial take, but this is why it's my pick and not yours. So Ralph's Club EDP is going to be the first one that I pick for the more casual business type of wear. And then Versace Eros Flame is going to be for literally everything else. Versace Eros Flame is a citrusy sweet uh, fragrance with some spices in the background, some sandalwood to smooth everything out. And honestly, still to this day, one of my favorite fragrances. And I need to get a new bottle of it because I've run out of the one 
that I had. So that's definitely on my list to pick up. But Versace Aero's Flame and uh, Arrives Club EDP will be around the same price as well. All of these ones are going to be probably a bit over $100. But when it comes to keeping it simple for beginners i think these are great picks for beginners honestly guys that is the end of this video and if you enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see one for a little bit more money let's say 150 dollars or 200 dollars, leave that down in the comments below but for all beginners that is definitely what i would suggest to you guys between those fragrance sets that's all i have for you guys i will see you in the next one